10-point guide for starting extensive reading programs. Many people are unaware of the great benefits of extensive reading. Or maybe they know about the benefits, but they don't know how to set up a big reading program. So without big reading, language learners will miss out on many powerful and life-changing benefits. And so in this short talk, I share 10 easy steps for setting up a big reading program. I'm Joseph Polshock, AKA Dr. Shock. My PhD is in linguistics from the University of Edinburgh in Scotland, and Scotland is great. I'm a professor in the School of International Communication at Senshi University, and this video is separate from my work at my school. And this talk is a, is a version of a talk given at the Extensive Reading Around the World online conference, a talk which I gave with my buddy, Douglas Forrester. Hey, Dougie, what's going on, bro? And this, I would say that this talk is for language learners, but primarily this talk is for teachers, school leaders, administrators, um, human resources, people in companies who want to help their uh, employees improve their language skills, their English language skills. But I want to think big. Yeah, this, this talk is for the Secretary of Education in small and large countries. Uh, it's that important. It's for the Minister of Education in your country. <laughs> All right, so big reading is important. If you like this video, please like and subscribe. Let's get started. So what's the basic claim? Big reading is essential. Big reading is indispensable. It's a vital part of any and every English language learning program. It motivates learners, teachers, and learners like it. It powers up all language skills, and you can start your big reading program in just 10 easy steps. So let's get started with step one. Step one is remember 10 benefits. Remember the 10 benefits I'll list here about extensive reading, or as I like to call it, big easy reading. <clears throat> big easy reading has many benefits. Reading packs more power and impact than you may think. So know the benefits that strongly support setting up a program. So here is Benefit number one, big reading works as the best and most important way to improve a language course or program. This comes from Paul Nation in his book, What Should Every EFL Teacher Know? Benefit number two, reading enhances vocabulary, general knowledge, and verbal skills, verbal intelligence. Reading makes learners smarter. This comes from the amazing work of Keith Stanovich. I'll give a reference list at the end of the presentation if you want the references. Benefit three, readers learn in a meaningful way using the most powerful the most powerful way to put language in brains, and that is the power of stories. This comes from this comes from Kendall Haven's amazing book, Story Proof. Benefit number four, pleasure reading is a kind of play. It's enjoyable. It can put players in a mental state of amusement. This comes from the work of Nell. Benefit five. Reading works as a most common flow activity where readers get lost in flow and forget about time. This comes from the work of Mihaly Csikszentmihalyi. <clears throat> Benefit number six, reading fiction helps improve empathy for people, helping to foster social understanding. This is from the research of Oatley and Peterson. Benefit seven, reading doesn't just improve reading. It helps to boost every aspect of language proficiency. This is from Krashen and his book, The Power of Reading. Benefit eight, big reading can equal or beat living in an English-speaking country. For example, reading two million words can equal about one year of living abroad in an English-speaking country. This comes from the research of from Hitoshi Nishizawa. And benefit number nine, big reading isn't just hard, boring test prep, which is what learners often think of when they think of reading, right? Instead, it's reading easy, where, learn, where readers know 98% of the words in texts. That comes from the research of Betia Laufer. And benefit number 10, big reading gives readers interesting, helpful, and life-changing topics to talk about. Those are some serious benefits. All right, so step number one is remember the benefits of big, easy reading. All right, step number two, build a library, right? You can start a library of graded readers. These are physical books published by some of the major publishers around the world, such as Cambridge University Press, Oxford University Press, and Penguin Readers. And if you want to know more about 
graded readers, you can visit the Extensive Reading Foundation website. Uh, there's a link here in the, in the video, and you can also see a link in the description. Or you can use a digital library like readoasis.com. Full disclosure, I am a content creator at Read Oasis. Read Oasis has thousands of stories in 10 levels with high quality audio, with tracking for word counts. That's really important because we want to track how much a person reads, so we track word counts. We also can track reading speed. There's gamification and a language, sorry, and a learner management system, LMS, for teachers and administrators um, who want to monitor groups of learners. So step number two is build that library of graded reading materials. Step number three is promote time on task. Help, help learners read outside of class with goals and tracking and gamification. Help them also read in class or at work, right, if they're doing it at a company, right? Follow the best programs where students and learners read inside and outside of class. So step number three is promoting time on task, meaning that it takes time to do big reading. What is big reading? Well, you read a lot for fun at the right level. And reading a lot does take time. So we want to promote time on task. A breakout level uh, that takes a little bit of time is 300,000 words, right? So if you read 300,000 words, you will stop translating from your native language into English. There'll be that You'll just get live English in your brain. You'll get more confidence. You can even get more results, higher results, measurable results on tests like the TOEIC. And if you read 2 million words, that's going to be like one year of study abroad. And if you know your reading speed, you know how long it's going to take you to do this, right? But it does take time to improve. I think it's actually faster than traditional study or at least the same. So it's a good use of time. This research, by the way, about the 300,000 breakthrough mark and the 2 million words comes from Nishizawa. All right. Step number four, start easy, right? Help your learners start out with easy texts. What's easy? I like to define easy as knowing 90% of the words in a story. So learners know 90% of the words in the stories they read, and that's how we define easy. All right, at Read Oasis, I ask learners to read all step one stories and then move up. Step one stories are really easy. They get comfortable with those, and they're ready to move to step two. All right, step number five is level up in community. Right? After students finish or master a level, they can move up to the next level. Right? Ideally, they read and level up in a community of readers right? where we support each other. Ask students, to, for example, to recommend their favorite stories to each other and inspire each other to keep on reading and moving up in community. Again, step five is leveling up in community. And let's remember this. It's a very simple way to remember what big, easy reading is. It's big, easy, and enjoyable. The key is B big, easy, enjoyable. A reading B is a community of readers who support each other. That's actually, that is actually one of the meanings of the word B, a community that supports each other. For example, a spelling B. A reading B is a community of readers who support each other. So find community with authors, characters, and other readers. That's kind of an amazing thing, right? When you read a book, you, you have community with the, the author, the writer. But if you're reading fiction, you have a kind of community with the characters in the story. And you can also have community with other readers as you share about what you read, what you enjoyed, and so forth. So step five is level up in community. Step number six is to read with purpose. Remember why we read, right? So why do we read? It's not just for language skills, right? What's the natural purpose of reading? Well, for nonfiction, it's to gain useful, interesting, life-changing information. That's what I get from nonfiction. And what do we get from fiction? Well, we enjoy the power, the fun, and the drama of stories. So step six is to remember and to remind learners to read with a purpose. Step number seven is to grow fluency, right? So we can, do, we can grow fluency by doing a speed reading course. For speed reading, learners need to know about 100% of the words in a, in a text. You can't practice fast something that you don't know. So the recommendation is that learners need to know 100% of the words in a text when they do a speed reading course. You want to measure the reading speed and then quiz learners after each reading. Learners should not try to get 100% on the little quiz that they do after a speed reading, but should aim for maybe around 70% correct. Right? You can learn more about the speed reading courses we have at Read Oasis. See the link here and in the description. Step number eight, set goals and track 
progress, right? So you want to help learners succeed with goals. You set word count goals as learners track their word count progress, right? At Read Oasis, we also have a reading rings game, so we can gamify reading. So let's say a learner has a goal of reading 500 words per day. If that learner reads 500 words, they get a ring, and they close their ring, and then they can continue reading like a chain of continuous reading. So here's a picture of that. This learner has read every day for the whole month of April 2024. Pretty nice. All right, so it's set goals and track progress for step number eight. And step number nine is to promote big listening. Listening is important, and reading and listening are connected. So help learners grow listening powers as they listen to books and stories. For listening, use stories where learners know about 100% of the words. Again, you need to have easier text when you're working on listening. And at Read Oasis, all of our stories have quality audio. And finally, step number 10, remember to link big reading to all language skills, right? Remember, big easy reading is essential for learner success, and we can link it to listening and fluencing and writing and speaking activities. We naturally talk, discuss, debate, present, and write about what we read. So start your program today for big easy reading. Remember the benefits of big easy reading. Reading is more powerful than you may think. Big reading motivates learners. It powers up all language skills. And if you want to know more, click the link below in the description to get a free book with more details and also a starter checklist so that you can start your big reading program today. And please remember to like and subscribe if you like the video. And if you think it's helpful, please share it with others. I'd greatly appreciate that. Thank you so much for watching and listening. Oh,